Hello, everybody, and welcome to Provider AWS meeting uh, for Friday, July 8th. Uh, nothing on the agenda today, but we will go ahead and do quick sub project updates and then probably have a short meeting. Um, so let's go ahead. It looks like Justin, are you creating the agenda from the template right now? I am doing my best. Awesome. All right. So for CCM, um, we, I don't think, uh, let's see, there were some new releases. Excuse me. There were some new releases recently. Um, so I think 120 through 124 all had a patch release. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and go to COPS. Thank you. I think uh, I don't think there's any uh, AWS uh, surprise related surprises. Uh, we are uh, about to release 124 GA, so that's good. And we have some patch releases, but uh, yeah, everything on the AWS side, I think is is uh, fairly uneventful, as it were, which is cool. good news. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Um, let's do load balancer controller. I don't have any significant update. Uh, I'm planning for the next uh, patch release of 2.4, 2.4.3, oh. which would be the minor uh, fixes uh, that we have accumulated so far. Got it. Um, Carpenter, Pratik, you have a Carpenter update? Uh, no updates uh, from my side for Carpenter. I haven't oh. been following the project for the last few weeks. All right, no worries. We should probably get uh, somebody <laughs> um, who is, or, so are you a, a maintainer still or are you? No, I'm not a maintainer anymore. Uh, I got it. Um, yeah, maybe we should reach out and invite some more Carpenter maintainers um, if we want to still put updates down for Carpenter, which I think is a good idea. Um, but all right, cool. So does anyone have any pull requests that they want to talk about or anything like that? It's tangential. I'll, I'll mention that we observed some uh, EDE failures across a bunch of uh, KOPS tests. And we think it is actually because the AWS janitor is deleting uh, resources uh, over eagerly. So if you see IAM mm -hmm. roles in particular uh, disappearing mid-test, uh, hopefully that'll get fixed. Um, but yeah, so. Um, it's not it's not an AWS issue. It's just an issue that is happening with our test infrastructure on AWS. So mm. if you see that that if you see permissions randomly disappearing in the middle of your tests, that's probably why. And is this from the account that uh, I guess I, I I know of like one account where tests run in, and I'm I'm wondering, I, but I think there might be others. So I'm, do you know which account it is? Uh, it certainly happens in the the primary account, as it were. But I think the janitor yeah. runs against all the accounts. Uh, the what what happens is basically once you're running enough tests or running tests often enough that a resource exists on every run of the janitor, uh, it doesn't for some resources which don't have a unique ID. So like instances have a unique like numeric ID or. X ID maybe, I don't know. They have a unique ID. Uh, IAM roles do not, uh, they just have the name. And so the janitor can't tell them apart. And if it's see, if we're if we're unlucky and the janitor sees like those at every hour, it will treat it as a, a resource that's been there for a long time and it will it will delete it, assuming that it's no longer, assuming that it's past because it's past the threshold. Um, so it's it's unlucky, but it it is very surprising when it happens. How frequently does it happen? Like, when was the last time it happened, if you have any dates? Uh, well, the janitor runs every hour, and it seems to clean up something every hour. Uh, but like yeah. a lot of our, uh, so on the 
if you look at test grid, the KOPS test grid, I think it's now hitting one. It seems to vary based on luck of scheduling, as it were. I think it's now hitting the 123 tests pretty hard. Um, but uh, it was previously hitting the 122 tests pretty hard. It would happen about like half the tests. Um, but the janitor is running every hour. I think currently at 45 minutes past. So if you see something disappear at 45 minutes past the hour, that's probably what did it. Oh, I see. Um, is it like the uh, KOPS infrastructure or uh, because I, I don't remember like uh, anything that uh, that we have on our side. So it's, yeah, it sorry, oh, sorry. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, it is a, it's called the AWS janitor. It isn't that AWS wrote it. It is part of the, it used to be part of Kate's test in Kubernetes test infra. And it's now moved to Kubernetes SIGs dash slash Boscos. Um, I but... see. Could we have the time extended maybe like from 45 minutes to like one hour, 30 minutes or something just to give the test enough time to complete? Sorry, it's uh, it, it, uh, it runs every hour. Okay. It looks at all the resources and it's supposed to only delete them after a TTL, which I think is four hours or something of that nature. Um, I don't actually remember the exact value, but it, it certainly isn't every, it, it's, it's only that it got confused by us happening to recreate the same resources every hour effectively. And there are some instances like uh, where the cleanup doesn't happen properly. Uh, I do see, it may not be for KAPS project, but for some other projects. And then I kind of periodically look at them. Uh, but I usually have like two hours or at least four hours uh, before I delete the stack. But yeah, I do that sometimes, but uh, not that aggressively. I'll put a link, I'll put a link in chat to uh, the project itself. Uh, yeah. So this is, uh, in the, well, I'll put it in chat and then I'll also paste into the notes. This is the project and it, it is supposed to be the thing that automatically cleans up because okay. um, the, the challenge is like, even if chaos, well, chaos as we all know is absolutely perfect and never has a bug. But uh, even if there was a bug, even if there were no bugs in chaos, uh, the E to E test runs can sort of be interrupted and cleanups aren't guaranteed guaranteed to run. So even with a perfect chaos, resources are still going to leak, uh, or perfect tooling, resources are still going to leak. So we do need the janitor to, uh, like, you know, so that otherwise it relies on people having to go in and and uh, like remove things. Correct, correct. Uh, does it use like cloud formation templates or anything? Because uh, it will be easier to clean up, right? You delete the CFN and the resources go away. Uh, just like uh, thinking aloud here. Right. Uh, um, KOPS does not use CloudFormation or doesn't by default use CloudFormation templates. And okay. um, yeah, I, I just don't think we can guarantee it for everything in the ecosystem that it, it does it. But I think, I don't know whether it will clean up CloudFormation templates. I was looking, it looks like it will clean up. It looks like the janitor will clean up CloudFormation stacks. So I guess someone is using CloudFormation stacks and has added effectively garbage collection for them. I see. A lot of times, like when the tests are invoked as part of make, uh, that's where the trouble is because make doesn't catch the signal and uh, pass it along to the uh, subsequent process. Uh, so it's a project specific, right? We have to look at every project and uh, ask them to like uh, to change the strategy. Yes, but I mean, like the as I understand it, the, no matter what you use, the job could be interrupted, and you are never going to, like in that scenario, you're never going to get called. To, correct, you know, correct. Like if there's a chance, like uh, there are corner cases where we have resources lying around, of course. Yeah. I will take um, a look at janitor as well when I get some time and see like if there's anything that we can get from there as well. Yeah, if you could link it in the um, agenda somewhere. Yes. Thank you. Cool. Let's put another poll in there, right? 412. Yeah, I, I, yes. I added that. Um, I just wanted, I think it's already on Nick's plate. I just wanted to mention waiting for the PR review. Yeah, thank you for adding that. I And I totally dropped this one. Um, I've been meaning to review, but I've been on call. So um, appreciate yeah, no, the reminder. 
Cool. Should we take a quick look at it as well? Yeah. All right. So this is rate limiting when calling STS of Sumeral. Um, and so can you just describe what the what the issue was? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, give me one second real quick. It's been like few few days I worked on this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the issue is uh, when we um, when the cloud provider makes an EC2 describe instance call to check if the instance exists, um, we pass in the credentials, which are assume role credentials. Oh. And if we fail to assume those credentials, uh, uh, cloud provider will keep trying for every node to make a call to assume those credentials. So we want to slow down the call to SDS when assume role is fi is failing or is not able to assume the role, either the role is broken or some other issue. So we don't want to slow down um, the describe instance call because uh, we want to process the nodes as fast as possible. But this is when the describe instance call is happening, it needs credential, but for credential, it needs to make a zoom role. Although once the call succeeds, these credentials are cached for 15 minutes. So that's the happy path. But if we fail to assume a role once, then, then the loop just runs over and over again and calls STS multiple times. And so why was it, why was there such a difference between the, like, why, why did it wait until, um, okay, I see. Yeah. So, so what do you cash on the failure then? Um, say that again, what do we cash on? Sorry, what? Oh, so, okay. So, so the, the assume role would succeed. And then because the EC2 describe instant or whatever the EC2 call is, that would fail. And then we wouldn't cash the, the, Assume role credentials. Is so, that, or, if or the, is the assume role call actually failing? And then it's the assume role call that's failing. Okay. But if that call succeeds and we we get the credentials from SDS, uh, so in our credentials chain, we we already cache them, so that the next time when describe instance needs to make a call, it will use those cache credentials for fifteen minutes, so we don't see it that often but when assume role fails describe instance will keep calling assume role assume role assume role so we don't want to do that so that's why we are trying to slow down the call to sts okay and so if assume role fails um so what is the new behavior like how do we get so, around so we call the same provider uh, so so basically this is an interface that the provider passes which is on your screen and every time we call retrieve so we are just encapsulating that retrieve method here and this retrieve method will uh, cache the result for one second so if we have seen that the last call was made within one second it will just return the last value or the last error it has seen and if you call it again after one second then it will call the underlying provider which we are today passing to the credentials and get the result back and send that result, whatever it is getting from there. So basically we are just adding a layer to cache for one second. Okay, that makes complete sense to me now, yeah. So it was spamming that much, like multiple times a second. Correct. Okay, yeah, so that makes sense. So I added the CloudWatch graph to show the difference uh, between before this fix and after this fix. So before this fix, those were the number of calls it was making to SDS. Um, and then after this fix, the call drops significantly. Okay, so this is, was applied at, five, 10. Okay, so it's it doesn't even show up. Uh, it's like 
very few, like only one or two counts after this. I see. Cool. All right. Thanks for that explanation. Um, sure. I will definitely take a look at this. Thanks. All right. Any other topics? All right. Thanks for joining everybody and see you in two weeks. Thanks for asking, Nick. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, everyone.